Lesson One. Greetings. Basic patterns. Hello. Good morning. How are you doing? Not bad. What's up? It's nice to meet you. It's nice to see you again. I'm surprised to see you here. Long time no see. How have you been? Hi there. How are things with you? What's going on with you? What are you doing here? Hey. Dialogue one. Good morning. Good morning to you too. Do you think it will rain today? Yeah, maybe. It's hard to tell. I hope not. I am going to the beach this afternoon. Maybe you should check the weather forecast first. Good idea. I think I will. Well, I hope you have a good afternoon. You too, Frank. Dialogue two. Hello. Hello, Bill. How are you doing? Not bad. Work is going well. Oh, is it? That's good to hear. What about you? I'm doing okay, although my car is in the shop. Oh, really? That's too bad. Dialogue three. Hi, Ralph. Oh, hey, Mark. Did you have a good time hiking today? Yes, although it was a bit hot. That is why I stayed inside. What did you do? I read a book. Dialogue four. What's up, Andrew? Not much. Not much at all. Are you hungry? A little bit. Do you want to eat? Yes. Let's go find something to eat. That sounds good to me. Dialogue five. Good afternoon. Is Doctor Colbin? Yes, but he is busy. Do you mind waiting? I don't mind. Do you think he will be a while? He shouldn't be long. Oh, good. I'll wait. Just take a seat over there. He should see you shortly. <music> Substitution drills. One. Do you think it will rain today? Do you think it will rain tomorrow? Do you think it will rain tonight? Do you think it will rain this afternoon? Two. Hello, Bill. Good afternoon, Bill. Good morning, Bill. Good evening, Bill. Three. Did you have a good time hiking today? Did you have a good time reading today? Did you have a good time walking today? Did you have a good time swimming today? Four. Is Doctor Kolb in? Is Doctor Kolb available? Is Doctor Kolb here? Is Doctor Kolb around? Five. It's hard to tell. It's tough to tell. It's difficult to tell. It's not easy to tell. Six. Oh, hey, Mark. Oh, hi, Mark. Oh, hello, Mark. Oh, good morning, Mark. Seven. Yes, although it was a bit hot. Yes, although it was a bit cold. Yes, although it was a bit wet. Yes, although it was a bit cloudy. Eight. I read a book. I read a magazine. I read a story. I read a poem.
9. I am going to the beach this afternoon. I am going to the park this afternoon. I am going to the library this afternoon. I am going to the store this afternoon. 10. That is why I stayed inside. That is why I stayed indoors. That is why I stayed in the shade. That is why I stayed in. 11. How are you doing? How are things? How are you feeling? How are you? 12. It's hard to tell. It's hard to know. It's hard to say. It's hard to be sure. 13. I'm doing okay, although my car is in the shop. I'm doing well, although my car is in the shop. I'm doing good, although my car is in the shop. I'm doing fine, although my car is in the shop. 14. I'm doing okay, although my car is in the shop. I'm doing okay, although my bike is in the shop. I'm doing okay, although my boat is in the shop. I'm doing okay, although my guitar is in the shop. 15. Maybe you should check the weather forecast first. Maybe you should watch the weather forecast first. Maybe you should listen to the weather forecast first. Maybe you should see the weather forecast first. Monologue Bill was not having a good day because his car was in the shop. A shop can mean a store, but it originally meant a place to make or repair things. In that sense, Bill means his car is being repaired. It can be difficult to not have a car in America for many people. In large cities, it is not so important to have a car. In cities, public transportation, such as buses, is available for people to use. In fact, many city people prefer not to have a car. Outside the city, though, having a car is often necessary for many jobs and routine tasks. Buying food, going to the library, or seeing friends are often difficult to do without a car. Automobiles are an important part of American life.